Hello everybody and thank you much for watching. In this video we'll show you how we can display Samsung DeX output on the same phone from where it's coming from. Let's begin. Quite a while ago I received a couple of questions from you how to display Samsung DeX on the Samsung Fold. And back then basically my answer was that's impossible. But what I have discovered recently that yes you can have a Samsung DeX to be displayed on the same phone from where it's coming from just with a couple of extra things that you need to connect to your phone for that to work. So in this video I will use my Note 9 as example. Obviously if you have a Samsung Fold or any other Galaxy device that supports Samsung DeX will work the same way. So I'm going to use my Note 9 in this example. Then I'm going to use a Ugreen USB-C hub to trigger Samsung DeX on my phone and then loop back around into one of the USB type A ports. I'm using USB Ugreen USB-C hub without with no particular reason. In my previous video I was using QGM USB-C hub. This time I decided to pick up Ugreen one just to demonstrate that this, this kind of setup can work with pretty much any USB-C hub as long as it's working with your Galaxy device and you can get Samsung DeX exported using that USB-C hub. Then a short HDMI cable just because it doesn't need to travel that far. It basically needs to go from the same USB-C hub and then loop back in and connect to one USB type A port. And that's where this the HDMI capture, capture card comes into play. This costs around 10, 15 British pounds here in UK on Amazon or eBay. So you can pick one up quite cheap and it does the job. It can work, it works up to 1080p at 30 hertz. Some of them claiming can go up to 60 hertz, but my, my experience is a bit, let's say flaky with this. So 10, 1080p at 30 hertz is, per, is perfect with this kind of setup. And I'm gonna use an iClever foldable Bluetooth keyboard and the um, Finn Pebble Logitech Bluetooth mouse just to demonstrate that that's all I need. It's just a very small footprint basically to get the Samsung DeX working. Right, okay, first thing, I have the HDMI cable connected to this Ugreen hub. Now I'm just gonna go all around and connect into the USB capture card and then go all the way around into the USB-C hub. By the way, I'm using the uh, one web camera that I just purchased recently just because my main camera the uh, DJI Action Osmo thing died. Well, it's becoming a bit flaky. So I just bought a webcam. So sorry about the quality of the video or picture quality. Um, just uh, sadly, that's what I have to work with. Let's get the, uh, I have the raw power four in one um, power brick connected and I'm gonna use the USB-C cable just to plug in and get the power going into this USB-C hub. And then I'm just gonna get this iClever keyboard has a very nifty like a foldable, like a holder thing. So I can open this up. And that's where my phone gonna will go in. First thing, what I need to do is start the screen recorder on my phone. First thing, what you need to do before you connect everything, you need to go to Google Play Store and search for USB Connect Camera. There is two versions of this app. There's a paid version, a free version. I am using a pro version. I'm gonna run this app now on my Note 9. So this is an app. Uh, before I connect my um, Ugreen USB to hub and get the Samsung DeX in the loop, uh, the camera doesn't focus that well anyway. I can go into settings and change all the bunch of things which I haven't display, mentioned in the previous video. It's just something, some of the things that I don't really want to tinker with in this app just because it runs, it works out of the box. So as soon as it's connected, what's happening basically is Samsung DeX gets triggered on my Note 9 and then it got pushed through HDMI cable back into the HDMI video capture card, which then is being detected by this app, which this app then takes the, this output of the um, of the video capture card and displaying in the app. So basically it does all the loop around and just displays on itself, if that makes sense. So here we go, I am inside the Samsung DeX on my Note 9. So here we go, I can right click, uh, go through the menu. So if I'm gonna go into bottom right hand corner, click on there, go into the settings. If I scroll all the way down, there's an option about the phone. If I click on that, as you can see, I'm running on SM9, what's this called? Hold on, SM960F, I can't even know my, my Note 9 model number. Anyway, so that's that's being displayed, so that's great. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna close that down and I will open Shadow Cloud Gaming Service, which is right now running inside my Samsung DeX, pushed via HDMI cable into the video capture card, back into the phone, and then this app is displaying Samsung DeX picture. So I'm gonna try to do a bit of gaming using Samsung DeX. I'm just sorry, I'm just keep looking at my screen, just make sure focus is, here we go. That's where I left about 15 minutes ago trying. 
So I'm playing GTA 5 inside Shadow PC, which is pushed, opened inside Samsung DeX, which is then been pushed by HDMI cable, which is then been captured by HDMI capture card, which cost pennies, which then been pushed back into the PC hub, back into my phone, and then USB capture card app detects this and it starts working. Pretty much um, I can't see any latency at all. I mean, the, the cloud gaming service will definitely give you some sort of a latency. But the quality of the gameplay is exactly what I'm getting when I'm playing on my ultra wide monitor with the shadow PC running inside the Samsung DeX. This is obviously I'm showing with my Note 9, but this can work with the Samsung Fold phones. And when you have a Samsung Fold phone and you unfold it and you put in some sort of a, let's say, a tripod, you have basically a dual, two, two X screen real estate which I think then is a bit better to be used for this kind of setup and especially Samsung DeX because obviously Note 9 is 16 by 9 as you can see it's like 6.4 6 inches screen or something but I, I sadly I don't own the Samsung Fold phone just because well I, I can't afford it uh, so I, I if I had one I definitely would try this and obviously show it to you guys as soon as I can but this is like a really interesting way to play GTA 5 if I'm gonna go with the mouse I'm gonna press escape I, I, I need to press metal key so I'm gonna go and right click on the shadow I'm gonna close that I'm gonna open the browser I'm just gonna close all the tabs that I have open because I'm always keeping like a million gazillion in them open I want to make sure I don't have any private information shown I'm gonna click new tab I'm gonna click on there I'm gonna go into the the best website in the world which is the Samsung Dex Library group and here we go, uh, I'm browsing Samsung Dex subreddit group inside Samsung Dex which has been pushed all the way around, come back into Note 9 and being displayed on a Note 9 screen. I mean, it's like, wow. So I hope this video shows you that this is possible. If you are a Samsung Fold owner and you will try this, please let me know in a comment section below or post your results on the Samsung Dex subreddit group. I really, really like to see that. Uh, let me know about the quality of this camera. I know the screen is a bit burned out just because like I said GDR was my action camera just died that's my camera basically to use right now so sorry about the quality but I hopefully you will understand and you will be able to uh, forgive me for this kind of video quality anyway thank you much for watching don't forget to join Samsung Dex every group I will leave a link in the description below for you to go and check it out 13,000 plus members already there it's amazing everybody's helpful everybody's sharing their ideas with Samsung Dex don't forget to click like on this video if you enjoyed this kind of content and if you want to see more like this, obviously you can come back later or you just subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon and you will get notification as soon as I have a brainstorm idea how to use Samsung Dex. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.